is a place of immense beauty. It's also a place of immense agony and misery. In Kenya, countless people are left outside the circle of life. They are ignored and forgotten. They are refugees, desperate people fleeing hunger and violence in such drought-stricken and war-torn countries as Somalia. Filmmaker Jerry Straub traveled to Kenya in 2012 to document the plight of refugees and the people trying to help them. This family is from South Sudan and they've been in this camp since 1992. The camp is definitely growing at a faster rate than resettlement is happening. <laughs> driving by a roadside garbage dump and we decided to stop. And they're picking through this garbage for rotten food to eat, scraps of metal to sell, but to be reduced to having to do this is just inhuman. You really get up close in a garbage dump like this and actually walk into it. You begin to see that these figures that you can see from a distance, many of them are actually young kids. It's mind boggling to think that a, a kid has to spend his days in a garbage dump, searching for anything, anything that he can use for survival. This shouldn't be his life. We're in a home of Lucy. There are three other kids, so uh, the four kids, Lucy and her sister, all live in this small little space. And she's cooking uh, food here that she sells to earn a living. It's really hot in here, and their life is really hard. She was born in Rwanda. During the genocide, all of her brothers and sisters and her mother were killed. She fled to the Congo with her father, and she lived in the forest where she was attacked and raped, and was there so long that the baby was born. And then the baby was actually kidnapped. They went back to Rwanda where their land had been confiscated. And in Rwanda, she ran into more trouble. She was raped a second time, had a little baby this little girl, and she was stabbed also, and eventually fled to Kenya. She was a beautiful child, full of life, and just wanting to live. But sadly, she started to deteriorate when she was coming up to 12 years. And she was just a few months before we got access to antiretroviral medication, and she passed away. That broke our hearts. While living in the Congo, he was subjected to brutal torture, politically motivated torture. The end result was he was left paralyzed and blind in one eye. Amidst all the pain and suffering, Jerry found extraordinary courage. It's better to have something than nothing. Right now, I am working so I can buy some little things that I was missing when I arrived in this camp. I am from Ethiopian community. I'm living in Kakuma refugee camp since 2004. I'm a single mother. First, when I come here in this place, I was too much stressed. I was thinking this problem only for me. But now I see people, they have more than me problems. Then I say, oh, I am okay. Thanks me to God. At least now I'm in a safe place. It's sometimes difficult for us, but we know that our future will be better than the way it is in Kibera. I'm a man for others, shaping and helping the community. Tax at Bonham Communications relies on tax-deductible gifts to produce our films. Please help us to continue serving the poor through the power of film.